Hello everyone, SP Architects here. Today we are here to explore something exciting. The idea of sailing house. This means designing a house with a curved roof that looks like the sailing of a ship. It's a band of classical sailing style and modern home design. Our main goal is to make a house that's both beautiful and functional. The curved roof will give it a unique boat like look. This tutorial will show you step by step how to do it using ArchiCAD. No matter if you are experienced architect or just starting out, let's jump in and make our sailing house a reality. Before beginning the tutorial, I would like to ask you to like this tutorial and being subscribed because it's going to help this channel with YouTube algorithms. And also, I'm going to make similar tutorials like this. And also, if you are serious about learning architect, you can go to my Patreon page. In the page, you can download this and also my other project files. And also, you can see some advanced architect tutorials. I'm creating the tutorials in each week. That means the channel is growing larger and larger. All right, without any further ado, let's get to the tutorial. Now. We are going to start this one by creating simple walls. Let's go to wall tool and create some walls as 10 meters to 10 meters. And we will close our shape. Let's go to 3D window and let's change its height. I'm gonna make this 9 meters. Let's continue. Let's go back to the floor plan. And I'm just going to duplicate these two walls to its same place. And I'm going to click this point and move as around 250. These are going to be our reference planes. Of course, you can create your reference planes with Morph Tool too. And also, I want to give them some slope. From here, we will activate the slope and input a value, maybe 80 centimeters, 80 degrees, actually. Now, I don't know, but maybe we can intersect with this and delete this one. Way more better. Now we are going to click our shell tool and the thickness will be 30 centimeters for now. And I'm going to change its color to white. And for the geometry method, it's going to be root. Yeah, it says root. And construction method will be details. After that, First, we will determine our first plane. Therefore, I'm going to click this face. We can make this by clicking three different points too. Now, we are going to start clicking our shell polygon. I'm gonna start from this corner and continue to 450. And I'm going to end to this corner. To finish the sketch, I'm going to click the same point. Now we will determine our second plane. Working plane is going to be completely vertical. Therefore, I'm going to start from here and our second point and our third point. It will be completely vertical. We will start from same position as we did before. Second position, 450 centimeters. And the final. To finish the sketch, we are going to click the same place. Once we achieve this, we are going to bend these edges. If we click this edge, we will see these options. And we will click this curve edge. It will be something like this. Also, I want to change this point position too. Maybe a little backwards. 
just like this. Now, as for the final, I'm going to make a symmetry from the center. Like this. Alright, now we can click our walls again and fix it to 90 degrees. It looks weird, but it's true. It's just an illusion because we have some curved rules. Anyway, now let's select our exterior walls and offset inside as 50 centimeters. Just like this. Alright, now we can place our curtain walls. Let's go to curtain wall, click that, and geometry method will be this chain and this single line. And as for the settings, I'm going to make this first. Reset these options, and our width will be 200, around 200 centimeters. To activate it, I'm going to click this fix sizes and input here. 220 and also I'm gonna make the same fix size 220 after that I'm gonna click this panel it's going to be main panel and around it it's gonna have some transom frame Let's go to frame options and look at what we have. It's around 15 centimeters. Our boundary frame will be equal to that. If you look close enough, you will see this blue line. From blue line to starting position, it will be 16 centimeters. Let's check it again. It will be 16 centimeters. Now they are equal and Let's go to our corner frame. Maybe we can use this block, but placed. But I'm gonna change this five to one centimeters. And let's go to panel. It's glass material. It's okay. Now let's click OK and start to placing our curtain wall. To finish the sketch, you just click the last point one more time. Um, actually, we need to change its direction. To do it, we are going to click this flip to change the orientation and way more weather. I think the corner position is wrong. Let's go to floor plan. Alright, as you can see here, it creates our true corner frame, but this transom position is not true. We need to fix it. First of all, I will change the height of the curtain wall. And actually, we don't need these walls anymore. And let's go to edit, right click this skin grid and we are going to change the skin position starting position let's click any corner from the skin grid and move and let's click exit to look at what we have now here is another solution let's right click this frame and we are going to delete this transom because we currently see two different frames right now. If we look closer, we will see another problem. This happens because this is not correctly 90 degrees. To fix this, as a workaround, we are going to click this and 
offset to inside a little bit inside let's see it oops let's create a panel there just like this all right we have created our shell roof we have created our curtain walls and now we need to cut the rest of the roof to achieve it we have two different options in the scheme options by clicking edit you can directly change its borders like so you can click these blue lines and move like this the second and easier option is to leaving it to architect automatically trim elements to roof shell and click trim and here our final prototype i'm not finishing tutorial here i'm going to add more details for instance I will create some slab, maybe it will be looked a same shape, once I created this I am going to offset as 250 centimeters, it's going to be a stairs for the building let's just give it some wood and I'm going to create some beam around it just like this maybe I can change the thickness and change its height this offset to upside as 30 centimeters and change its surface color to white just like that maybe it's going to be placed on a beach so it will be needed placing some column under the building therefore i'm going to click column and change the structure to circular and i'm going to change the thickness to 60 again let's change the surface to maybe we should place it in the ground floor i don't know I'm going to place them randomly let's select them all and change its position elevation yeah way more better maybe we can make this concrete not titanium bites it's gonna be meanness yeah way more better let's create some railing to let's look at the segment to look at what we have um, I don't know let's try Um, I didn't like this. I'm gonna change the style of this. Maybe this one. Orientation is wrong. Let's fix it from here. Hit the P. No, it's not working. Yeah, it's working. 
we have created our rail i realized that we don't have any entrance to the building let's create it let's click this edit maybe it should be inside of this panel we are going to click this one and in the settings we will change build in cw panel type and make double door or single door um, actually i want this to be a single door but the width will be too large therefore i'm going to duplicate this frame to the middle and copy this panel to here of course we need to change this glass type from this panel handle is not elegant let's change it to maybe this style 12 yeah here we have this panel glass panel element type let's overwrite this and make glass blue and click exit all right this is how you can create these kind of buildings in ArchiCAD. I hope you have enjoyed with the tutorial. If so, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you are serious about learning ArchiCAD, you can go to my Patreon page. From there, I will be waiting for you. Alright, thank you for watching. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye.